Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed. Long time no see. Uh, been busy, you know, with the outside weather being nice and warm. I've had quite a bit of things to do, so sorry for the uh, not so standard absence. But today we're going to take a look in the Vermi Bag Mini Mammoth. Nope, it's the Little Mammoth. Why do I do that? I didn't win when they got to name it. All right, so here we go. My light. I'll try and get that positioned a little better. All right, so we're going to take a look in on these guys. Found some shredded paper windows. Pull those out while they're on top where I can see them. I don't know if it, I've probably mentioned it before on this channel, but I don't know if the worms are kicking it out or if it just somehow always ends up on top. I'm not sure. But let's take a look in here. It's been well over a week. I don't really expect to find a whole bunch of anything in here except for worms and maybe some avocado seeds. See what else did I find in here? Oh, pineapple. Forgot about that being in there. So they're working on that for sure. Uh, looks like the pineapple c core is kind of bendy now. It's uh, definitely in progress. I suppose me being gone from coming in here and bugging them all the time has given them ample time to get through some of the more difficult items for them. All very fluffy, good moisture level here. Looks like I still have a little bit of that braid left. Little piece of garlic still trying to germinate. The bedding is has, you know, been annihilated. You can see how the, the castings are already super nice and fluffy. Kind of just do some turning up here. Looks like more garlic braid. Yeah, they certainly have gone through all of their fast food and all they have left are the Items that do take a good long time, like the, the avocado pit and uh, wood stems from my bonsai trimming. This looks like another garlic braid there. Mango seed. Bottom of the um, pineapple. But everything is just really, I can't even tell you how fluffy it is. It's lovely. All right, well, we didn't get a really great worm ball or anything, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch up all the food and get a hole going in the bottom here and put the old food in, and then I'm going to feed them up with some new food that hopefully we'll get to see a nice worm ball next time. I'm also going to give them a good amount of bedding because it looks like they've really churned through it. Alright. This has been sitting on the counter for a while so I'm gonna be anxious to get that covered up. Ugh. So we've got melon. Uh, even I don't want to touch that. Melon, bananas, more avocados. And let me grab some bedding. This is my prepared bedding. Um, I will link up here to the top to the fast bedding as well as the long version. This has been sitting for close to a month, I imagine, now. And I know some people that are new to my channel are like, oh my god, how much of this stuff is she going to add? Well, these are African night crawlers, and their preference for food leans towards the carbon side. 
So um, even though I put the food in the middle here, uh, what they're really going to go nuts for is the bedding. And this is primarily junk mail and Amazon boxes for the most part. Um, so that's quite a bit. That's probably a gallon, maybe even two gallons of bedding that I just tossed in there. But uh, as you saw, if, I don't know how long ago it was, I'll have to link and see what the timing was for the last video. But it's probably been two or three weeks since I've been in to see these guys. And um, you saw what damage they did to the bedding. So uh, we will I'll go there and look. I'll link the playlist for this um, Burmy bag as well. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.